guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, our Football Manager 20 Journeyman Save. This is episode 7 with our current club, Lebendorf, in Austria. And uh, I was looking at my, uh, I was looking at my uh, dashboard uh, early this morning, and uh, no Austrian viewers. So, come on, Lebendorf supporters. Support the game. Support your guys on the pitch. They're not playing in real life. We're fighting for you here. <laughs> All right. After the measuring stick uh, beat us down last episode and showed us that we were not up to the task, uh, we did end up with a 2-0 win over Union Volklamark. Uh, Philip Somner and Andres Blazic with goals. Blazic off the back line. Center back. Philip Somner, our, uh, Somner, our uh, striker up top. Kapfenberger, SV, a 1-0 win, and Blazek with an early set-piece header put us up 1-0, and we held on. Then we got crushed by Wacker Innsbruck, 3-1. Uh, uh, we had two players sent off. It's kind of hard to play with nine men. Alexander Kostman did find the goal. Uh, luckily, it happened before the sendings off. Uh, we gave up both of the goals after the first sending off. No goals after the second one. Go figure. Next time we get somebody sent off, I think we may just volunteer to take two off the field. Obviously, that's the way to go. Today, we are back. Uh, S. Uh, Lask Lens, third in the table now. They've dropped off a little bit. And Dornburn is 16th in the table. Let's get to it. All right, so we are uh, 1,530. 50 tickets were sold out of 2,000 seat capacity. We are the home favorites. So we are going to kick that tactic in. So we basically have similar tactics. They're both 4-4-2s with one deep uh, defensive midfielder. Um, one is a little more attacking. One is a little more defensive. I think I went down to cautious because we were playing Lens and we were just completely outclassed. Uh, let's see. Everybody looks in place. Kurt's going to get the start today. We are nursing quite a few injuries. So, oh, long week back to work. Still only working out in the field three days. Uh, working the other two days from home. So yesterday did some telemarketing, uh, teleconferencing. Not telemarketing like you're thinking. It's calling my, my existing clients. And, uh, you know, just trying to do some business over the phone with our existing client clients. And then uh, tomorrow is a kind of a laid back day. We have a conference call in the morning at, uh, at 10. So uh, I'll be working on that. And then I've got uh, some end of fiscal year reports. Damn it. Who the hell was that? Brosh. And he makes the keeper look foolish. Oh boy. You know what? I am going to drop that. Let's drop it to balanced. Probably should go cautious, being that they are a much better team than us. But uh, let's encourage them here in the early going. All right, we've got two guys marking that player, and they still throw the ball in. We can't throw the ball to anybody on our own team. Oh, he just ran. Oh, my God. Wow. How about show some passion now, fellas? Just got torched over the top. We're still, oh, we got our first shot. It was off target, of course. Look at that. He, oh, you know what? I'm pulling him off right now. Brosh, Kurt, Valar. Yeah. Every time I see him, he's getting lit up. At least we made a save there. 
All right. So there's Kurt. He's moved out to the left side. Wow. Well, at least they doubled him down into the, you know, put him in a corner where he couldn't do any damage. Jeez. Nervous and anxious. Struggle to make inroads from the left. Struggle for possession in the opposite half. Poor shot conversion. Uh, I'm going full on aggressive. We owe them revenge. And you play it calm. Avoid another booking. All right. Uh, when we're on the attack, we are working the ball into the box. So I'm okay there. I'm going to drop that back just a smidge. Just a smidge. Come on. Demand more. Petrov lays it off. He just, who's that? Just lumped up and Polisteris. Last gate, last episode, we saw him get sent off, did we not? Straight red card. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. So mid center, so we can drop Kosman back there. And he's going to be more of a true center mid, not a defensive mid. So, likes to drift wide. If he does drift a little wide, that'll put him out here, and that'll allow Somner. I'm going to drop him back to uh, an advanced forward to where he's just doing a little bit more all around. Wow, wow, wow. All right, you're playing you're playing a 6-3. That's pretty crap. So we're going to bring in the Loney. Show some passion. We're going to drop back to cautious as we get here into the waning 20 you know 10 15 minutes of the game summer oh he's on a breakaway get it into the box oh he takes a touch and that was beautiful he showed great poise took that extra touch to drift out to the right a little bit i mean he went all the way across that was beautiful very very solid work there Basler for Blazek. Let's see. mainly just to give Blazek some rest. He's normally a center back for us. I think maybe I'm wrong about that. Oh, come on, fellas. All right. Well, look at the look at the ball movement they've got. Just quick one touch passing, control it, move it, pinpoint accuracy. Oh, thank goodness he got a save there. Gee whiz. Come on, fellas. I'd like to steal one and get a draw here, but that's probably not going to happen. Oh, he puts it up into the stands on top of the parking garage. Another set piece for them. Three minutes. Steal one here, guys. Steal one. Nope. Not going to happen. That keeps us in seventh position. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I mean, they played really well after going a man down. Can't complain too much. We're going to find him two weeks' wages. And we'll be back for the next match in seven days. All right. Let's take a quick look at the pending transfers that we've got. Um, let's see. We're bringing in uh, all of these guys are going to join us July 1st. Uh, Michael Kosman's going to join us June 11th. Still after the season. 
Kosterman will start there. He's a left back. Uh, no great shakes, but he's 19 and he's Austrian. Uh, so he's got some average skills. Nothing great, but, you know, fills a role. Uh, John Grima comes from the New Saints. He is a right and left winger, and he's got some potential. <laughs> uh, very good crosser. Uh, he's probably going to play right side. Very, very pacey, but he can also pass the ball. Good leadership, decent off the ball, decision making. He looks like a really good player. Uh, another right winger. Uh, we paid 30000 for him, Fausto Scardovi. Uh, that gives us two right wingers. Uh, the other one I think we may be looking at on the left side, Grima. And then Ethan Gilroy is another left sider. And he's real good. So basically I think we've picked up in Gilroy and Scardovi starting wingers. And then Grima, who was a free will be a uh, reserve depth on both sides. So we've really solidified our midfield, at least the wingers. Kostman is going to be depth at the fullback position. And we've just made an offer for Callum Fitzpatrick. Uh, he is homegrown. Uh, he is uh, 29 years old. So he'll he's a little older than I like, but 30, what does it say? Like 33 to 35 is the prime for a keeper. So I don't mind keepers that are a little bit older, and he definitely looks a little better than what we're currently dealing with. I mean, he's conceded 77 in 68, so, you know, barely over one and one, and we really need some help there. So that's what we've got coming in next year. Uh, moving into the game against Dornburn today, we are at home. We are heavy favorites. So we're going to stay with our positive here. Uh, of course, we have lost Polisteris with the straight red, so Alta Baumer is going to move there. Blazek will be back into his normal center back role. Everybody else pretty much stays the same. I'm going to put Barsanti on for Kosman in this one. Not that he's better, but I just want to see him do well. I just want to see him do well. That's all. I swear. All right, prove a point. I really should have played our reserve keeper. He's horrible, but I'm really just frustrated with, <sighs> with this guy that we've got starting here in, in Henneke. Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to have the first highlight just outside of their box area. Heinrich throws it deep in. There's a header. It's off the post. That was unlucky, and it's cleared out. We'll take another throw in, which I'm assuming nothing happened from. We are getting a lot of shots on goal. There's one, and Philip Somner is off the Blazic deflection, and that's his 12th of the season. Blazic got ahead on it. Keeper got the, got the save, and then it goes to Somner, who is there for the easy, easy tip in and the 11th shot of the game gives us a one nil advantage in the 22nd minute oh what a cross oh there's beck oh beck fights through a tackle beats the man into the box he pings it bounces off and barsanti's there for the rebound get in there he's got his sixth of the season and we are up two nil all right, we're going to tell them, uh, we're going to praise them here. Good run by Beck. Oh, Blazic and Dreesen are overwhelmed by the praise. I'm still thinking that their previous uh, gaffer was uh, pretty hard on these guys, you know? All right, Beck, just outside the box. Back post. Oh, nobody can find the shot. They're on a big counter. Four on two. Oh, and Mal who was that? Malic Malicic? Malicek? Malicek. Oh, I thought he had gotten a, a red card. He's injured. Potential lower leg injury. Not good. Uh, do I have? Yeah, Brosh can play back there. That's about it. 
That is about it. Hopefully he's not hurt too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. Prove a point today. All right, they are getting complacent. Let's uh, demand more from them. No, they didn't respond to that. I mean, we are dominating the game statistically, but we need we need some more goals. We need some goals. All right. Um, all right. Heinrich is. We can move Blagic outside. Basler inside. I just don't want him to play a ton of minutes when he's not up to match fitness yet. Beck goes to Basler near post with a header. Super sub puts in his second of the season, and that makes it 3 0. All right, and we are going to praise them here. Very, very nice. We go straight to a kickoff highlight. Come on, boys. Don't get shaky here. All right, a little bit of pressure. They look like they handle that well, though. He goes deep. Our left back gets beaten once again. A header. And it goes over the goal. I was wondering if it was a save, but it went over. That's going to be a goal kick. All right. Let's pull. Let's put Hrustic on for Beck, even though it's the opposite side. I, I'm pretty sure if you can play mid-right, you can play mid-left. I'm a firm believer in that. I'm predominantly right-footed. I played right and left and center. I played I played every position on the field at some point in my uh, career as a footballer, which was all at much lower levels. All right, so a 3 nothing win. That is solid. Excellent efforts. So we get some morale out of that. Pretty happy with that. Quality of possession. Okay, he's only out for one to two days with a tight calf. Good, good deal. So competition-wise, we are sixth position. Sitting on 43, so we're in this log jam here. We're pretty high above Lens, BW Lens, and eighth. What's that? Seven points. So, you know, three games basically. And we're three points off second position at LASK Lens. So I think we're in a good spot here. I think we're in a very good spot. So, where do we come back? We're getting close to the end of the season. I think I said we were going to come back for the uh, the home finales and uh, just end this season and move forward. So I'll play the three away games. We'll be back for Vacher Modeling and Lustenau, and we will see where we end up. Is there a is there some money? So two thousand. I mean, you know, this isn't this isn't make or break money, right? But. You're talking 7th to 5th is double. 5th to 3rd is double, excuse me. Even 4th to 3rd is a good chunk. You know, 4th to 5th is a good chunk. So, yeah, I'd like to finish 4th if we could. God, I've got the hiccup. Sorry, guys. But I would like to shoot for 4th if we can. And we're right there. I mean, we are right there. But Vacher Innsbruck beat the hell out of us. So I don't know. And and look at the goal differential. And you can't say that these tactics don't work because I had the Invincible season with very similar tactics. We had a plus 75 goal differential. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, I talked about my Invincible season on my solo save yesterday. Uh, so if you missed yesterday's episode, I do talk about it at the beginning of that video, but, uh, yeah, so we just don't have the players yet. You know, we're not at the level of some of these top teams. And I think goal differential is one indicator that that's true, that we're more in this batch. So 
Six may be the best we can hope for, but at least we're in it with a shout with, with, with these guys here. So guys, hit that like button. Do me a favor and subscribe. Uh, I was looking uh, again at the analytics this morning, and it looks like about 90% of all my views are from non-subscribers. So you know, if you're watching it and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, I don't lose sleep if you don't, but you know, hey, I'm all I could do is ask, you know, and I asked nicely. I said, please. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Mm, yeah, I think we'll no, we'll see you Monday because this is going up Saturday, pretty sure. So I will see you guys on Monday with the next episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.